We're going to talk about uh, the origin of life today. So this is going to be a technical lecture, and uh, with intent, no God, gods, or intelligent designer is going to be mentioned. Science is going to be used to critique the scientific research. All right, so this is a car, and mind you, this is much less parts than are needed to make a cell. What if you had to gather them and put the parts of the car together? What if all of these parts were scattered throughout planet Earth? And many people would say, well, you know, the, the, these things are not limited to Earth. Okay, well, now find it. Find it out there. <laughs> find it out there. Uh, the parts have been scattered out there, and uh, they, they happen to come to Earth on meteorites over a period of many, many years. That's what we're up against in Origin of Life. Try to put something together. And now the parts go bad. You know, say a certain part is there on Earth and you're waiting for other parts to come. And in the meantime, the parts go bad. Same thing happens to organic molecules. They decompose. Molecules don't care about life. Organisms care about life. But chemistry, on the contrary, is utterly indifferent to life. Without a biologically derived entity acting upon them, molecules have never been shown to evolve toward life. Never. Molecules don't evolve. They don't move toward life. They have no reason to move toward life. So the scientists among you are going to have to deal with the science as it's presented.